Okay, so uh, I've covered just about everything in the book, okay, in your prep book here. Uh, there are a few things that I want to kind of touch over that we didn't get to go over, so I want to just do a couple things that I want to you know, quickly go over. Go to page 218, number 10, 218, number 10. So you get this long drawn out equation and it find which of the following expresses TW, or to try to solve for TW. So you have TA minus T over 700, T over TW, all over H to the fourth. trying to solve for this guy here, okay? I'm trying to solve for this guy. So how would I go about doing that? What's the first step I'm going to do? First step's pretty obvious, right? So I'm trying to solve for this. I want to get rid of this, right? So that would be the first step. The first step would be to do this, move that over, okay? Next step is pretty obvious also. What is that? Multiply by 700 TW. This is what you do not want to do. Okay? What you don't want to do. I would go ahead and move this term over first. Right? Because I want this term, correct? Okay? I'm going to move this guy over, so I'm going to get E H to the fourth minus T A minus T D over 700 is equal to minus V over TW, correct? Are we good? I have this minus, I need to get rid of it, right? So I do that. Okay, let's rewrite this, so I'm going to get what? TA minus TD over minus E H to the fourth V over T W. Right? Okay. So again, you said you're right here, I would multiply by 700 or T W, or actually before that you said you wouldn't do that. So that would be not the way I would do it. So I'm going to give you a trick that most of you did not know. I'm trying to figure this guy out. The problem, what, what's the problem with solve, trying to solve for this guy right now? What's our biggest problem? Our biggest problem is that it is in the, it's in the denominator, right? Wouldn't it be nice if this was in the numerator? Right? If it was in the numerator, I just multiply the V over and I'm good to go, right? If it was in the numerator, right? The problem is it's in the denominator, okay? So the trick is this. I can take the reciprocal of both sides, right? Because if, if one was, if I had two is equal to two, I take the reciprocal and it would be one half is equal to one half, right? It should work, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take the reciprocal of both sides. Now I multiply the V over, and I'm done. Correct? You guys done? Okay, so whenever you find that what you are trying to solve for, trying to get an expression of, or your important thing is in the denominator, always think in the back of your mind that I can go ahead and use this trick. Okay, I can use this. Okay, I can use the flipping of both sides. Okay? 
So is there anything that looks like that? It is, well, I was gonna see if it beat. So you see how simple and kind of painless it was rather than us trying to multiply like 700 and TW, I mean, well, 700 and whatever and whatnot. And couldn't you just multiply by TW and then you would able to divide the big whole thing into a number? Oh, from here? From the last step. From here? Yeah. Okay, so what was the question? You just multiply it by TW. Oh, so you move this over and then bring this out that way? Yeah. Yeah, that's good too. But in a set, in essence, you're doing the same thing. Right. Right? Do you understand what he said? Mm -hmm. So you, he said they were from here, I would multiply this over and then divide everything by this and bring that underneath here, which is in essence what we did. Okay. Right. Okay. So that's one thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is factoring, or not necessarily factoring, but a couple of two or three things that always show up on the SAT. Difference of squares, right? We know this one, right? And we also know This always comes up on the SAT also. Just for a lump on tangent. Those who are doing honors pre calc, this one comes up every once in a while, just enough to make your life miserable. So you should know this one. has nothing to do with the SAT. As long as we're on that kind of thing, I just want to throw that out there. Right. Okay, let's go to page 270. Okay, page 270, let's do some radical equations. We haven't done any of this. Okay. Although these are fairly simple, right? 7 root x is 24, 11, move the 24 over, oops, not 25, 5, so x is going to be equal to? Just 25, right? Just 25, right? Not plus or minus 25, right? Because you can't have a negative on the underneath here. Right. Let's go to page 221, number 5. Okay. This would be a perfect candidate for what? Be a perfect candidate for what we just did before, right? When we flipped, took the right, took the reciprocal on both sides, solving for r. I mean, which one would you solve? Would you rather solve this? Or would you rather solve? Would you rather solve this? Would you rather solve this one? Mm -hmm. Multiply both sides by 18. However, they're not asking for R. What are they asking for? R over, R over 3, right? R over 3. So that would be what? 2 over 3? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
good with that? Uh, let's do, let's go flip the page, go to 222, let's do the extraneous solutions. We talked about extraneous solutions before briefly the other day. Extraneous solution is a solution that looks like a solution but really is not a solution. So, multiply both sides, or I mean, square both sides. Huh. Where did the x come from? Zero or five. Right? T equals zero or five. The problem is if I put t equal to zero in here, what do I get? Before I put zero in here, I get negative two. That does not work, right? Root four is not negative two. What about five? Does five work? Nine is equal to three. That one works. Okay. So this guy here, in other words, this guy here is our extraneous solution. This does not work. This is the only one that works. Okay. All right. Is there anything that you guys feel weak or feel that I need to go over a little bit more? Anything that you feel we could dive in a little deeper? 